you hold my hand, look me in the eyes. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Brush your teeth.
ponytail and hair out. Like a lot of hair out. Like I had like to a doctor. Like the bottom hair out. Like I had like a ponytail like this and there's still yeah. hair out like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five, one, yes, I got a fish at nine. It bit my head and I cried. They're all going to be chairs. It's gonna be a chair house. <laughs> Look at that. Look Nike. at this house. It's gonna be a chair house with a bunch of Look at Christmas colored chairs. Look at this. Ooh, some Christmas colors for my green chair. Christmas color. It's a three colored chair. Look, Mom, this is a three-colored Christmas cake. Three-colored Okay, so we actually made decent time this morning. London got up and got ready like she was supposed to. And we weren't rushing. We had plenty of time this morning. And I got her there. I had a good time and everything. I've been trying to get into the habit of walking for like 20, 30 minutes in the mornings. I was, I've been doing it on the treadmill. Trying to do it on the treadmill. I would like to do it outside with the fresh air and like it's less boring than just walking on a mini treadmill inside. So it's like I want to do it outside now that it's not like miserably hot. Like it's a decent temperature in the mornings. It's not bad for a walk. It's gonna be cooling down more as fall comes. So it's like I want to start doing the walks outside, but the I hate the stroller that we have. The wagon is way too much to push around the whole neighborhood. It's too bulky and for that and like getting on and off all the sidewalks and everything. The wagon's just too much for that. My problem with that umbrella stroller is it's like it's too short. It's really uncomfortable to push it. The handles are too short and the bar, like the bar that goes across the bottom, is too low so every time you go to walk it's like you're kicking that bar or you can't take a full step because you will kick the bar so it's just really uncomfortable to push that stroller but it's like I can't necessarily justify buying another stroller because we don't use strollers all that often at all really um, we rarely ever use the strollers so I kind of can't justify getting another stroller, but especially not an expensive one. I'm not the kind of person that's gonna spend hundreds of dollars on a stroller. It's, again, I also I just don't use strollers that often. The wagon already was a good amount of money for something, for a stroller, but I mean, we've gotten good use out of it. It's just, we really only use that when we're going to, like out to walk around to events and things the zoo but i also just don't know what like affordable strollers there are that would be better if i were to get another like a different stroller to use for walks like just walks around the neighborhood i wouldn't know what to get like i wouldn't know which one would actually be better to walk with and I wouldn't want to spend, like, you know, Walmart has those cheap Costco strollers and I looked at them and I almost bought one. And they're like 25, 30 bucks, but I even sh was struggling on spending that much on a stroller and I don't know if I would like it. I don't know how much use I would get out of it. 
So I don't want to spend a lot on a stroller. Like I really don't want to spend even 50 bucks on a stroller, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know which ones. Like I wish I could unfold the ones at Walmart just to see, cause they don't, like they have a couple of like tester models of strollers in Walmart, but not the, those cheap ones. So I wish I could unfold it to see like how big it is, if it would be any better. But you know, it's like all wrapped up and everything. So I can't really unfold it without ruining the paper and everything on it. And then if I don't buy it, like that's kind of messed up. <laughs> so I just don't know what to do. Cause I don't really feel like walking on the treadmill. But I just don't have a comfortable stroller to walk around the neighborhood with. I feel like I don't have good at, like equilibrium on a, sh on a treadmill. Like I constantly feel like I'm gonna just fall off if I'm not holding on and watching my steps the entire time. It literally feels like I'm gonna crab walk off the side. Cause I'm a person, I can't walk in a straight line unless I'm like actively trying to walk in a straight line. I definitely like stray when I walk. So it's really hard for me not to just step off the side of the treadmill. I just came up here and finished getting myself ready for the day. And I'm freaking starving. I don't usually like get hungry during the day, but I'm starving. I'm like kind of trying to cut my iced coffee out again because it's just way too much sugar. And um, I'm tired of not losing it. And that coffee is just way too much sugar. So I'm like cutting it out. I'm trying to tell myself that I can only have it like once a week, which sucks because I love it. And I attempted to have hot coffee this morning because it's like a fraction of the calories and the sugar for me to have hot coffee, but I just really didn't like it. I took like three sips of it and I just couldn't do it. It was gross. So I haven't really had coffee. When I don't have coffee, I'm always so hungry, but I don't know what to make. Like, I don't have anything really quick and easy that I want right now to make. Honestly, I might literally just make some toast. Yeah, I'm telling myself that I can get, like, an iced coffee, like, once a week as a treat, but I can't be drinking it every day. I think I'm also just going to make some eggs. Get a little bit of protein, I guess. I'm not typically a breakfast person. Jace is getting too tall and he can reach into drawers now and he is getting into my coffee drawer over there. And 
taking the coffee pods out, biting into them, and then dumping the coffee grounds all over the floor. So he dumped out like the rest of my coffee pods. Ashton already had breakfast and I'll probably share some of this with Jace and like maybe give them some yogurt. Did you get down? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've started having to lock the kitchen in the pantry because he uses it to climb onto everything. Stop! There's only one left because of you. I'm also debating rearranging the living room today because I'm getting over this setup already. It feels very closed off and this is going to sound very lazy of me. But when I only have, like when I, when say I have something to do in like five, ten minutes but I don't want to just stand around. I want to like sit down just for a couple of minutes. I don't want to have to walk all the way around all the furniture to get to the chair to sit down for five minutes. That sounds so lazy of me, but I just, I get really annoyed by it. So I kind of wanted to rearrange the living room back again. And I also never should have put the legs on the couch. I put the legs on the couch hoping that it would even the couch out because the couch is very like uneven. It doesn't connect right. And I was hoping that putting the legs on would fix that, but it didn't. It actually made it worse. So I think I'm going to take the legs back out because everything ends up under that couch. And I'm really tired of having to sweep out from under the couch every day and finding like 10 million toys and and trash under there every single day. Like it literally everything just goes right up under the couch and it drives me insane. So I kind of want to take the legs back off of it again. But honestly, there are only two ways that we can um, have the living room set up because of where the TV is mounted and like the windows and like the layout is just very awkward. So there's only two ways that we can have the living room and it's this way or the other way that we have it. And I keep alternating between the two because I just get sick of it. I get sick of having it looking one way for so long and I wanna switch it up, but then, you know, I can only do one of two ways and it's annoying. And like, I don't like the other way because it leaves a big gap behind the couch where the kids throw stuff. I'm really almost tempted to say, screw it and split the couch in half and just have that weird spot where it would be like a piece of couch with no cushion on it because the way that the couch connects, it's got two seats, two seats, and then there's the middle piece that's like this weird shape and it connects right there. So it connects in the middle. So it's like half of the middle on one side, half of the middle on the other side. And then it's just one cushion that goes on top. So if I remove the cushion, and split it apart, like each couch is gonna have a ledge on it where there should be a cushion, but there's not a cushion and it's not connected. So it's just it's just a really awkward couch. I've said this so many times, but I'm really debating doing that just to have more freedom with the layout of the living room. Cause we don't even need that, we really don't even need that size of couch. Like no one really even sits on the couch. I sit in the chair. The kids sometimes will sit on the couch, but they always sit on one side of it anyways and i just want to have more options on how to do the living room but it's so freaking hard i said no i think i'm gonna just deal with the stroller today and do a walk outside the on the treadmill but i really should get a walk in. Like, I've skipped Jays. I've skipped so many this week from being sick. So I really need to like do it.
you ready to go? Always freaking kicking the wheels. Okay, waited too long to do that, and it was too hot. But we did about a 20 minute walk around the neighborhood, and now it's almost 10 30, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and edit. A video real quick and Jace is probably gonna take a nap here soon give me love give me all your love give me all your love